my name is Amanda. I wanted to make a video on how to ace your pathophysiology um, and chronic and palliative class. So first of all, it really depends on what kind of learner you are. So if you don't already know, um, and if you're just either starting the class or you're in the middle of the class and you're failing, that's okay. Take this time now to take a test online and try to figure out what kind of learner you are. For me, I learned that I can't just really learn by reading. I'm a very, um, for me, like I'm a visual learner and auditory, so I like YouTube videos because they help me learn the best. Before class, um, I always try to look at the PowerPoint if the teacher posts one. Um, I haven't really been keeping up with the own reading that they give in the textbook just because I realized that our textbooks have a lot of fluff. So if I have to, I'll just look at the key words and like the vocab and if there's a summary at the end of the chapter, but that's about as far as I will go. If your teacher is kind enough to post PowerPoints, make sure to like look if there's any bold or, you know, red or underlined text because usually that's, you know, saying it's important, know this. So I would write that down. Um, I'd also take notice if the um, teacher would pause or say, this is important, or maybe you guys should know this, or something like that, some kind of cue that says, okay, this might be on the test too, and I'll usually put in my notes with the star or a highlight. Um, so make sure you look at those cues from your teachers, because sometimes they can give you um, what will be on the test. So I have my little cute binder, and I try to keep, the name of the game in nursing is keeping super organized. Okay, so if you guys look closely, I will have each week um, with its own little thing. And each time the teacher gives us any kind of handout, I'll put it in and I'll mark it for which week it was because um, usually if your teacher spent time giving you some kind of handout or worksheet or something to do, it's going to be on the test. So I keep every single thing that I get and make sure I keep it in my um, binder. So when I get into class after I might have like skimmed the PowerPoint and stuff, um, I did buy this book. This is right before like tests or whatever. I have read it a little bit. This is more for med students, I, in my opinion, but um, it's called Clinical Pathophysiology Made Ridiculously Simple. Um, and it does, it makes it <laughs> just like what it says. It makes some of the most uh, difficult concepts um, like, I don't know, like the patho be behind um, myocardial infarction or um, I don't know. They just do it by the different systems. So you have the cardiovascular system, you have the pulmonary system. Um, this is helpful if your um, instructors kind of go by different systems. I would recommend this book. On my iPad, and it's okay if you don't have an iPad because you can print this kind of sheet. I'll post it and fill it out either in writing or if you want to upload it to your own computer and type it in. But every time I go to my patho class, because patho and chronic are very overlapped um, in my program, so I will bring this to class and I'll fill it out as I'm in class. So there's two things that I do specifically. I fill this out while I'm in class and I make quizlets the sheet that I um, do on my iPad while I'm in class. So this one is for osteoporosis. And literally, as you see on the sheet, I will have the risk factors, the patho, um, tests that are done, medications, patient education, treatment, nursing diagnosis, which is really important, um, and just extra considerations. And what I like about this sheet, a friend of mine gave it to me, is that it kind of makes it a one-stop shop place that you can go to look at the material and look at it at a glance. Um, so I would also, you know, you see some parts are highlighted. I would highlight the parts that I thought were most um, important to know for the test. And, you know, with medications too, I'm really big on making little, um, uh, what are those called, mnemonics or whatever to remember. 
Um, so again, this is really helpful if you're not just someone who's, you know, into writing, but more of a visual person, because it's a visual aid that you can just look at really quick and be like, oh, okay, that's the patho, that's the treatments, blah, blah, blah. Ability, and I just have all my disorders, and I kind of keep it pretty organized by farm, patho, chronic, and palliative, and then I keep my old um, notes in a different section. So I really like this. If you can't do that, that's fine. You can just um, print out, here's the blank sheet that I should post, and you could print that and just um, fill it in by hand if you need be. If you need more clarification, I am absolutely obsessed with Register Nurse RN. Nurse Sarah on YouTube, she will make some of these concepts as well very easy and just um she's a great teacher that you can use online so for more ati stuff i will look at um lev level up rn um she does great summaries of that kind of content um and i really recommend her and i would also recommend um simple nursing they have really good mnemonics for medications that I really like. One more thing that I can do if I'm really, really struggling, which there are moments that I really struggle, um, I will make, I have a laminator. I love my laminator. I make little sheets um, just to summarize the information that I've learned. And this is um, just an IV sheet and kind of complications that come with it and the types of IV fluid. For me, that was so much information. So I had to make it into my own little sheet that I can look at that would help me understand the content easier. Um, not on a testing note, if you have to write papers for patho or chronic or um, any of the other classes that you're in, I would recommend getting started on those ASAP, um, especially if your school enforces using APA. Our school, they're kind of sticklers for APA, and APA is like its own language, so it takes a while to incorporate that into your paper. Also use um, tutor.com. Our school provides that for free, but it's just a way for people to double check your paper for grammar, spelling, um, APA, and sometimes they'll even have tutors that'll look at the content itself and be like, does this make sense? Does this work? Um, they won't write your paper for you, but I really suggest using that. Nation PubMed, um, they have a lot of good scholarly articles that you can use with the DOI that you can incorporate into your paper um, and just, you know, get so sooner than later because you don't want to, you know, cram it a few hours before when the APA itself too can take a couple hours. To end, I just want to say, you know, I hope these tips will work out. I'm not naturally, you know, the brightest person in the world and I have to work to get those grades that I get. So I wish you guys luck. Um, and if you have any questions specifically, just let me know. Okay, have a good day. Bye.